In our quest to connect champions, we've arrived at the second Nigerian city, Ilori. The city is home to the Premier League second division club Kwara United FC. This is the 18,000 capacity stadium hosting the under-15 Etisalat School Cup champions. Competing in the regional playoffs, Nasarawa, Benue, Cross River, Niger, Plateau, Kogi and Kwara. The Nasarawa boys had quite an interesting ordeal navigating their way to Ilori. They took it all in for the joy of the game as they found other ways to manage the stress from a long journey. We were just in planning how we are going to play the football, how we are going to represent the Edisala team. The competition. And on winning the tournament, Lazarus doesn't have a single doubt about winning. We were in a full squad when when the screening was taking place, but they removed half of us. So we, are, we, we didn't, we are not up to a team, but we have faith that we will, we will still win the match. And if there's anything super cool about the Plateau team, it's the fact that they've been playing together for eight years. I've been playing with my team since eight years. Speaking about the city of Iloring, it's a thriving town known for its delicate mix of the Yoruba and Fulani origins. A visit to the Emir's Palace will throw you into a mix of northern-looking and Yoruba-speaking locals. The trophy went visiting. Making a champion appears to be more than the sole efforts of the talented. Some of our amazing discoveries are the role parents have played in forming these budding stars. Thank God Omesin speaks to his mom's role in the development of his passion for football. My mom is my biggest fan. She's the one that bought the first football for me when I was three years old. And I've been playing football for about 12 years now. Habib, 13, is from a family of footballers. I'm actually 13 years old. I'm the only striker in my family, so the rest are defenders. When we all play football, I dribble them at times. John got the home coaching advantage when his father decided to teach him how to play football. I learned how to play football from my dad. He normally take me to Fiji when I was young. The boy from Plateau is thankful for the opportunity given to him. Seriously, Mungo Dema is a lot. The one in Daman, the ticket. Pam, Kuon, Shikara, Munachemata, Gaskia, Mungodi. So, Gayu, if Tomana, Mbugabon, and Nandazuchia. Seriously, we have to thank the Tisalat for all that they have, been, they have been doing in our society today. The trophy tour included the Tisalat Experience Store at the mall. The elegant under 15 trophy made a gracious entrance, and the staff, already in the spirit of the tournament, welcomed it happily. We are delighted to have this trophy here in our centre and it is a sign of great things to come. Kwara Mall Etisalat Experience Centre. We are champions. champions. Next stop was the Ministry of Education, where Ora Igu presented the trophy. So what we are doing this year is a trophy tour. So in conjunction with the Nigerian School Sports Federation, mm -hmm. we would like to present this trophy to you um, on behalf of Etisalat Nigeria to show you what will be won as the trophy of the Tana School of 2016. The trophy comes alive and the players do a procession with the trophy and the handlers. The students from various Ilori schools also join in the procession. The rest of the matches played over the next days had the Abuja and Kwara teams running the entire show. Both teams have moved on to the finals. FCT captain Chidera Prosper wins the man of the match. It's another opportunity for us to present the click light man of the match and we have Oju Kuchidera. Great play, awesome kids, talents everywhere. It has been beyond football. We have made history. The stories have been beautiful. It's been a great opportunity to connect the champions. Stand up. Stand up.